What's going on everyone? Today I want to show you how to set up Artisan with your Kaleido Pro Series uh, roaster. I showed you the other day how to set up the Dual Series using your Mac. Today I'm going to show the Pro Series. It's pretty much the same steps with a couple of differences. So to begin with, go to the Artisan website and download the Artisan software. I'll put a link below. Next, you'll want to go over to uh, the Kaleido USA website, and you'll want to scroll down to find the pro version. So download the Artisan setting file. We have the M6. I'm going to go ahead and download that. It's going to download to my desktop. So just make sure you know where it's going to. Next, let's go to our system preferences. And you'll see this Kaleido pop up. This Kaleido M2 is a different roaster. So for the Pro Series, we want to click Connect. And on the Apple, it's going to say Passkey Enter did not match. Click the Options. It's probably going to say 0000. zero, zero, zero. Change that to 1234. That's the default password. And then click Connect. Once it's connected, let's load the Artisan software. The default Artisan software is going to have many of these buttons and sliders missing, but since I've used this roaster before, it's finding the previously used file. But you're going to open it up and none of the controls will work and none of these buttons will exist. So you need to go to the help menu, click load settings, and then we're going to go to our desktop folder. And this is the M6 file that we just downloaded from the Kaleido website. Click open. And once you open it, you will begin to see all these buttons appear. You won't be reading any temperatures yet, but you'll at least have the setup showing on your screen. Next, go to config and then port. And the COM port is probably gonna be on a USB port. You can search for which port it's using, but it usually is pretty common sense. We're gonna use the one called Kaleido-Port on this one. It's very important to change your baud rate to 9600. Click OK. And then we're ready to turn on the machine. So it's saying scope monitoring, what it's doing is it's actually going out via Bluetooth and it's finding the roaster. And here in a second, it's going to show it's 8.2 degrees Celsius. It's very cold in here. 7.8, 8.2. It's fluctuating as it's um, reading back the temperature. So from there, we're able to begin using these controls at the bottom. So if we wanted to turn on the drum, let's just turn it on 100. So you can hear the drum just turned on, click drum off. Uh, you can have your damper, which is your exhaust temperature. And you can click the various buttons to change your damper speed. I'm not gonna turn the heat on right now. And at the very end, you can click cooling on when you dump your beans. So that's your basic function of the Kaleido software. If you're choosing to use a curve, <clears throat> go to roast, background, and then if someone has shared a curve with you, you can click the load, and then select a curve that you would like, and then click OK. It will then load the predefined curve on the chart. If you wanted to follow it using PID, 
it's using the thermocouples within the roaster to trend and make adjustments to your heater, your drum speed, and your damper blower just by using the temperature controllers built into the roaster itself. So we need to do more on that just so that we can talk that through and learn it better. But I wanted to get you going. This is the M6 Pro. This should apply to all the Pro Series roasters, all of the Kaleido Pro Series. Uh, if you have the Dual Series, check out my other video. If you have a Windows computer, it's a very similar process. I'm gonna do completely separate videos. Just I know there's a ton of Windows users out there. Um, I use a lot of Mac. So I wanted to do both so that everyone's set up. There's a lot less on the Mac out there. If you have any questions or issues connecting, you can feel free to reach out via our email or you can go to our website, which is colliderroasters.com. Thanks for watching.